Okay, so your mileage may vary. Okay, so we are back now with part two. Uh, I did some hunting and I got myself the Wild Boar Caller, which was 1,200. And we are still using British Studio 3, but as you can see, we no longer have the scope on it. So the re reason for that is very simple because we're not going to need it because we're going to lure the animals in quite close, basically the boars. And then we're going to get some close range kills. It is the easiest way actually hunt these animals now see there's a red deer up there but that is neither here nor there we are basically now if we had the scope we could have taken the shots but for now i'm going to show you what i normally do to start off the hunts so again for the british 303 we got our four caller we don't have the scope on because like i said i despise using the scope i am a bow hunter myself so uh, let us see if we can find some pigs, call them in close. Note itself, you are going to scare off animals uh, with, with this technique in the beginning until you get the bow. Uh, but yeah, we'll be farming for the red deer caller next. And then only after we will be farming for the bow. Once we have the bow, life becomes infinitely, infinitely better. Because you can then kill quite a few of them without actually having to worry about scaring off the whole herd. Yes, there will. See, got things already. So now, we're gonna get our caller out. I don't know which way they're at. You have to be very careful. Generally speaking, they're around that area. Oh, there they are. There they are. I can see them. So just low and slow, we call them in. And we will take a kill shot once they are close enough. It actually works out beautifully for us that they're this close. Again, low and slow is key for this method. And again, also you have to understand that it doesn't always work out. Sometimes the wind is not in your favor. We don't have the little smoker as I call it yet so we can't really see for sure exactly what wind direction it is at the moment but we're gonna see if we can call them in I see one coming towards us with a few squeals get your gun out get ready we're gonna take the shot for the big one that is on its way hopefully we can get a vital which is going to be amazing probably not gonna insta drop at the end of the day it is better than nothing we are going to chase away the others, so this method, make sure you choose the biggest one possible because it might just might just be a male and you might just get a trophy out of it. So we're going to go for the one that is right real close. You can see they'll, they'll actually come fairly close to you. Again, be warned, you might die as well. These boars have a, have a habit of actually... That's what they do. That's what they do. They come towards you and they will charge you. Oh, ow. And that was a female, so that is not bad. Yeah, they will rush you. And they will kill you. So the first the first shot was yeah, you see, the first one wasn't even a, a vital. It was just basically shoulder and intestine, so that was a non-vital. You can see by the blast a non-vital, and then the second shot, we actually got the kill shot. So that's another 350 in the bank. And then just reload. Bolt action. Not the best gun, because I really, I don't really like bolt actions. But it does the job. It will get you from point A to point B until you until you get to the, uh, the other weapons. But now that we've scared away the rest of the herd, uh, we can now go track the rest of the animals and see what we can find. Again, callers does make it a lot easier. If we can get a hare as well, 
It is also fine. We don't really need to worry about getting the hairs right at this point. Uh, we will do that once we get the bow. It is much easier if you can track them, get quite close enough with them. And Bob's your uncle, you can take them down fairly easily. But yeah, uh, the thing is with the uh, 303, it is unfortunately old position. I would like to see them actually add like a semi auto uh, rifle. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what, what is that? Is that a email? towards us. Oh, that is a female. The thing is, you can get lucky and you can get like radios coming right at you. And I don't really like shooting with the scope. But yeah, we will we'll be farming some, some piggies. And we shall... There's another, there's another herd, so we can try and call them in. That is things. Yeah, there, there they are. So we're just going to get right real low, pull them in, take a shot. We're probably going to tear off a herd. We will take whatever we get at this point because we are farming money. If we can get a trophy out of it, by all means, I think there should be a fairly big one as well. Well, I can see earlier. Uh, so you see the one at the back that one is quite quite big you can actually see it's fairly big so you are actually going to go for that one because i have a suspicion that that might be a male so again nice and slow patience is virtue for this call them in wait for them get your shot harvest it it gets a little easier with the bow because they will run a little bit away as soon as the first one's down and if there's any in the area. But mostly, most of the times, it is fairly, fairly quick. You take the shot, you kill one or two of them, you run away, you pull them back in, and you just rinse and repeat and farm your money like that. Yeah, that one over there, I'm not sure if I'm pointing at the right one. The one that is like far back is fairly big, so I'm suspecting that is the male. If it's a female, it is a big female. Again, let's just make sure that we are 100% loaded. Yes, we are. I'm making that mistake twice where I had a decent shot and I actually forgot to actually load the gun. I was actually empty. I'm like, uh, why is it not working? Why is it not working? And again, just be careful. You might die. You see there's another one coming from there. So, they might charge you. Again, just stand very still. I'm actually surprised that they actually came in. But that one right over there is going to be our target. Hopefully we don't die. Again, if you die, it's not the end of the world. Your kill does not run away. It doesn't, unless you push the shot. Other than that, if you die, not the end of the world. So you see, now I had the bow. I could have taken this one out really easily, and the rest, and the rest would still still be on their way. Yeah, that is a big. That is most probably a male. Again, low and slow is is the name of the game. I'm gonna move a little slow, a little bit more to the side, so when it we can actually take a shot. Again, we're just moving very slowly as to not to piss them off. We need to come a little bit more closer. Sometimes they do glitch out a little bit. That is a big boy, though. Really? Yeah, and this is, again, guys, early access, so 
Your mileage may vary. And that is a gold trophy. So there we go. We've actually made enough money to buy the red deer collar already. Big boy though. And still 100% integrity. Again, we're gonna get bugs like this. So it is still, again, early access. Big boy, 221 kilograms. So now that we have that, we can actually head back to our little thing, get the red deer collar, and we can start hunting red deer as well. Nice and nice and close, and then take the kill shots. Again, let us just make sure that we are loaded. Not anything anymore there? So there we go. But yeah, we've just made just made enough to cover that, and that was literally just in two boars' time. So we actually did make the right call for going for the bigger one. That was a gold trophy. Now we can just go back, we can reset time as well while we're at it. And we can take on the hunt again. And I don't really care too much about running at this point. We came what we wanted to achieve. So that is how the callers work. So just make sure that you're close enough for them to hear it. When they come towards you, just stand still in a position where you're going to be a little out of the way so that you can actually get a decent kill shot. You are going to run into bugs like that one where it just runs. Uh, I am making notes and I am going to send that into the developers as well to have a look at. Um, they are pretty active in fixing bugs and whatnot, which is amazing. Again, 303 without the scope. Not my favorite, but usable for the interim. Now let's go get our. Let's go get our little cooler. See, we got 1,300 out of that. That was a 350 and a 950. So we just have enough for the cooler, which is 1,300. So you just buy that. It will give you a little description of how to use it. And Bob's your uncle. We actually now have our second cooler. Now, the thing is, what you need to understand is now you're going to have to make a little bit of a compromise if you don't have the backpack yet. Because can only carry so many things so for now we are going to skip the van and we're going to keep our callers we're going to hunt we're going to get the backpack which is now 1300 i thought it was 900 whatever uh we're going to get the backpack then actually we're going to get the bow and then we'll get the backpack i think that's going to be a lot easier um yeah, and obviously we've got enough got enough ammunition to last us a little bit we're going to reset time and after that, we'll go hunt again and see if we can get some red deer at least. Okay, and we are back. Uh, it's a little bit of, it was a bit of a long load. But uh, yeah, I mean, we are back now. It did reset the time, so hopefully the animals also reset as well. Again, we've got now both our callers, and we are good to go. So whether we find more boars or red deers, we can call them in close, get a kill shot. For oh, the red deer is a little bit easier to, to spot the males from the females because I mean red deer's got rack on the males, the females do not. So it is a little bit easier to actually make sure that you get the right one. Again, earlier we did make the right call for going for the bigger one. It was a gold, a gold trophy. And as soon as we're done here, hopefully we can actually spot them. I mean, the weather in this game as well, it is has got dynamic weather so it will rain eventually and it will start clearing up as soon as it hits eight o'clock from the misty side of things you still see there's a little bit of mist that's fine you can deal with that and now let's see if we can get some red deer at least and for now even if you just kill females you can't spot any males that's also fine at the end of the day this is a money grind until you get 
I mean, along the money grind, you will get trophies as well. Uh, don't you worry about that if you're a trophy hunter. Uh, we're just going to take it nice and slow, see what we can spot. We can get a red deer in if we can. One thing I really do hope that they add to the game is a variant of bullet for the 303 to hunt the rabbits. That would be pretty cool, because then it will actually give a bit more incentive to actually use the 303. Because the rabbits are, you have to get so close with the, with the shotgun and the bow in order to actually get a kill shot on them. Having the having the scope and the 303 with the different bullet type to actually take them down might be, might be a better way to hunt them. Again, they are super, super quick, so sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not with them. I've actually gotten disheartened quite a few times hunting for their hairs, but at the end of the day, they do come in when they need to. Even the developers said one day that hares is difficult to hunt, especially getting that elusive diamond. I can see there's some pigs over there. Let's see if we can get them in. Let's see if we can call them again. Low and slow. Slow and slow is the way to go. As long as you move very slowly, you should be fine. I mean, you saw earlier as well, we moved a little out of the way, so we are basically fine. Moving around. Yeah, we're just calling them in. Patience. Again, using the 303, so we are chasing them away as soon as we take the shot. But of the day, if they're, if they're aggressive towards us, it is fine. We just have to make sure we get out the way quick enough before we die. Because that's the last thing we want to do. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's actually a few of them coming in. Yeah, we're just gonna sit here, we're gonna wait for them to come in, see which one is the best target to take out, and we are going to do that. And then hopefully we can get a red deer as well. If we can't, we can't. I am just surprised that we got a gold trophy right off the bat. That was amazing. See there, they come in as well. Also a big herd. Again, we are stuck with, with not having a binoculars at the moment. It's not the end of the world. So we'll get uh, we'll get back eventually as well. And then once we're back, we'll do the once we got that. Well, actually, once we get the bow, we'll get back. Because I think the bow is going to be a look, little bit more important than the back. Again. Doesn't matter if it's a small one at this point, we'll get the bigger, we'll get the big ones as they come through. Again, we are at 20 in the morning. I'm just gonna pull them so that we actually get them in. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we can actually get another big one, another male. Uh, they all look basically the same size, but if I had to guess. I would say the one that is coming right towards us by that plant over there which is the bigger one of the lot. But we'll see in a we'll see in a few. Then go and slow, make sure that you're ready for to take the take the kill shot. Then two or three. You are limited to a bolt action, which is I mean, don't get me wrong, the three or three is a is a good gun. 3 is a good gun. I just don't like using it. But for this, it is quite enough to start off the game with. Showing you guys how to actually use it and get some, some money in. I'm going to move a little bit out of the way. Actually, the one that's right here is looking a lot better than the one there. But it's fine. I mean, even the smallest one gives you 350 if it's a female. I'll just call them in. I'm gonna wait until it gets like right real close. We'll take the kill shot. The rest should run away. 
If the, another one attacks us, we can try and get it. Come on, a little closer. The nice thing about that is, even if you do scare them away like that, it is still a lot better than trying to, uh, you see, but now we're in a dangerous land where all these can actually attack us. Uh, hopefully we can get a bigger one, actually this one. Uh, yeah, so there we go. Not okay. See, like I'm definitely gonna mention this to the the developers as well, so that should should go down as well. That is a vital as well. So that is another two down. Oh, you see, this is another thing. Even though we hit a vital, we have to hit it again or wait for it to bleed out. Or we can be a merciful person. And just... Yeah, but... Really? Still not dead? Yeah, but we're not going to take another shot at it. We'll wait for it to die naturally. It should bleed out. I know that sounds bad, but... I think we only get two shots on it. I just have to... Look for that other one that ran away. Uh, where was that? blood you can also talk about the tracking as well the dead now you're not dead yet let's go let's go track this one right away okay so now that we've activated the tracks now we can actually see more or less where it, where it went so now we can just go track it we'll come back to this location up here it's passed on Now we just have to look for that other pig, though. We have to look for the blood trail. Again, it should go down, and the thing is, I don't think they despawn. If they actually die. I don't think until you pick them up or you close the game. Now is not the time to actually talk about that. Need to find that butt trail and actually not be. Okay, oh, we don't see any blood trails going this way because I'm pretty sure it ran this way. And sometimes tracking animals does take time, guys, so don't get disheartened if you can't find it immediately, you will eventually get to it. Now it's dead. It passed on eventually. It passed on, guys. Okay. Shame. It is a female. It's a small one. Now we need to figure out where this one ran to. I'm pretty sure if it ran. Maybe it ran okay this way. I did. There's the blood trail. Let's see. Not the blood trail exactly, but there we go. There's the blood trail. Again, guys, you will have to look for animals if they do run off. Hence why I prefer the bow, because it's almost guaranteed an insta kill if you get a vital shot. I don't think there is an animal that I hit a vital that actually ran away with the bow. And you just follow the blood trail until you get your animal, and that is that. And sometimes they do run quite a quite a distance. I mean, I have tracked a deer, or probably a halfway across the map, really, but it felt like it, even though it was a vital hit. Uh, now I just need to make sure. It's all in straight, I think. Oh. 
again, guys. You gotta look all over the place for your animals if they do run away. That is potentially 350 that we do not want to just throw away because we are going to need it because the bow is expensive. 500. And also the slugs as well. The slugs also work surprisingly well, but again, where did we see that trail again? If you don't see blood trails, try to backtrack as much as possible. Let's see where it went. Re medium. Apparently, according to it, it ran that way. We'll see now if that is the case. Oops, there it is. Hopefully, we can find it. That is potentially 350. If it was a female, if it was a male, and it's a orange trophy, it's a little worth a little bit more. But again, it is basically I don't see if they run away. Trying to find them. According to it, it did run this way, so according to the track to his tracks. Let's had backtracked again and went that way, which is also a possibility. And if you can't find if you can't find tracks, it's good to backtrack. And that's another female, which we do not want to track. We want to get our other kill. Where or where could it have gone off to? Well, according to the blood trail, in that way, according to the foot it went that way so let us let's go this way again let's see what we can find Hopefully we can can find it that's the problem with not dropping them instantly they run very very far potentially I don't see any tracks this way or any blood. Again, you might have to just open your eyes a little bit and look further than normal sometimes. Again, yeah, it could be a it could be possible that it backtracked again. So uh, it is it is all a possibility. Let's look around the area, see if you can spot those other tracks. If you can't, like in this case, I have no idea where it went because I can't see any blood tracks going either up that way or down that way. So the only other option is it went completely the opposite direction or made a U-turn. That is the only that is the only possibilities that is left to us. Go and explore. Where, where would it have gone though? Yeah, that's why I prefer hunting with the bow because it is almost always an insta drop. Almost always. Let's see if we can actually find that thing though. We're gonna, we're gonna head this way. See if we. Maybe around this way and spot some blood and tracks. It would be amazing. Otherwise, we are going to do a short cut and be back when we actually found find it. Where on? 
Which are Nothing this way either, so where on earth would it have gone? Where on the earth on earth is it? Yeah, it could be a possibility that it made a U-turn, but that is also a possibility. I can't seem to spot any blood or tracks out of it though, which is quite weird. Unless it glitched through the glitch through the earth, which is also a possibility. Again, early access, anything is possible. That thing might have actually glitched through the earth. Because again, I don't see any blood tracks. I don't see any other tracks except for where it was there. Let's go across the section again and make sure. Maybe it got a bit, a bit further. We don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go actually head that way again. We will see. Yes, I am running to make it a little bit quicker for us to actually find it, hopefully. I also don't see any outlines of anything that died, because normally it will give you like a little white outline or purple outline thing. It is quite odd that we lost the whole thing. I think that might have glitched through the through the earth. I don't see any tracks this way. I don't see any outlines. We basically went all directions without spotting anything. So again, it might be a possibility. Again, as I said, that glitched through the earth. Yeah, uh, it's probably, it probably glitched through there. Again, guys, early access, not gonna, not gonna... Interesting. And I guess our poor piggy is gone. Poor piggy. And I think, like I said, by the looks of it, it does look like it glitched through the earth. There's no other black tracks it's literally stopped right there and you can maybe hit that way see maybe it did a did a 180 that's also a possibility so let us let us go that this way see maybe if that was the case but yeah like i think i honestly think that it did do a pitch to the center of the earth Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see any evidence this way either. So, yeah, goodbye, piggy. It was nice knowing you. That's just a rock. That's nothing. Nothing of importance. But yeah, like I said, in this game, you win some, you lose some. In this case, we lost one. It is what it is. I'm not gonna waste my time further looking for it. Any more animals to shoot? No, that piggy is long gone. That piggy is long gone. Unfortunately. Bad to see it go like that, but what can you do? just a rock very sad to see it go like that 
that a rock? Some you lose some. Hopefully, if we can spot another set of piggies, we can grab one and we can make up for lost time. And again, patience, guys, patience. Again, if you have the 44 mag, it will also make it a lot easier for hunting them because it is a bit easier to get multiples with them. But because you've got six rounds in a chamber instead of just single, single round with a uh, uh, the 303 British. Yeah. That... Unfortunately, we lost that. Too sad. Also, not sad in, in the case, in the sense that it was probably only a female. It was a female, I think. Lots of. Uh, what... I doubt it, would, it came from this way, so I doubt we'll find it in this area. Yeah, let's see if we can get a red deer at least. Pull in a red deer, and if we can get a red deer, we can pull him in. Or her, for that matter. We'll take a kill shot as well. Let's just make sure that we are loaded and... See, there is another, another thing that you always need to do is always make sure you've got a, a proper round chambered. That would have been disastrous if we found a decent red deer and couldn't kill it because we chamber around. We'll head, we'll head to the big lake now, see what we can find there. Again, this area, generally speaking, that we're in now is a good hunting zone. And I see some smaller tracks, which means that there's a European hare somewhere. Is that just a rock, is it? That's just a rock. Let's go. Let's go to the lake. See what we can spot. Get our animal. Otherwise, we will just come back, reset time, and do a little bit of a little bit of a run again. Also, if we can get a hair and we can spot it at least, that would be great. Just a rock. We are at 9.38. So that also gives us a little bit more time to hunt because at 12, at noon or around noon, animals start to get inactive and the apps are beginning to hunt. No matter how much you call them, they will not come to you because it is resting time for them. There's some red deer. Okay, so let's see if we can call them in. Let's see if we can call them in. I'm actually surprised we spotted them so early. And there's a stag as well in them. There's a big stag. I'm not sure if it's a big stag or not. I'm just gonna call them in. See if we can get it. If we can. Fantastic. Come on. It is coming this way. Again. We are chambered. We are ready for it. We hope we get the vital on it. That would be amazing. Again, 303 is not my favorite gun, but it does the job of what we need it to do. Small boy. Probably going to be a bronze. Yet 
Yeah, we just have to make sure that we we place the shot perfectly this time around. Again, low and slow is key. You know, just pull it in. I hate taking shots from the front. Taking shots from the front is a pain in the ass because if you... Oh, there's two. You're gonna go for the bigger one. And it is not coming directly towards us. Please don't run, please don't run, please don't run, please don't run. Hear that? That one was the bust. Still fine. Still have another male that we can potentially take down. See, this is where the wind and everything comes into play. As they smelled us, they looked right at us. Hopefully we can actually get that mail back. We should have taken that shot. Again, guys, patience is a virtue in this game. Pretty sure I would have botched it if I did take the shot, so... Rather safe than sorry. We will go a little bit up. Uphill a little bit, see if we can get them back. If we can't, we can't. If we have to track them a little bit further, then by all means, let's do that. I actually see two males, though. I doubt we're gonna get them back. I doubt we're gonna get them back, guys. Unfortunately. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, at least I've proven the point that you can get them nice and... If I had the slugs, it would have been a different story because then it's a lot easier to take them down because you got two shots. There was just one. That's why I hesitated taking the shot with the 303. And I really dislike only having one, one, one round shot gun at this point. But again, both is a different story because normally it is an instant drop from the side. If you get a vital with this, it is a bit of a different story. Let's see if we can actually pull, pull them in. I'd like to get one right there before we end this video though. I'm gonna go for that female. What is that? Is that a... I see there's one up there as well. Let's see, like I said, we're gonna see if we can get one. At least. Whether it's a male or a female, it really doesn't matter at this point. Again, those males would have been absolutely phenomenal to get. Again, hesitation, patience is a, is a virtue. We would have definitely botched those shots. Hopefully we can get one in close. Maybe I should have just taken the shot and gotten over with. Again. Never know if you don't take the shot. Oh, I see there's one coming up. Where are there two coming? If it's a male that's coming, it's definitely going to be worthwhile trying to get the male. Again, I think we chase those males away quite good. If there is one right for us, 
Oh, there's the mail. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna... We're not gonna hesitate this time around. We are just gonna move a little bit to the side here. Once it's close enough, we're gonna take the shot. Okay, so it wasn't all in vain. Guys, it wasn't all in vain. Not the big one, though. Wasn't the big one. We should be fine at this angle because by the looks of Come on, give me a good shot, give me a good shot. Shut shot. Ah, we botched it. We completely botched it, guys. Ah, bad shots, both of them. Unfortunately, that's why I absolutely hate the gun. <laughs> not gonna lie, I... Like I said, it's not a bad gun, I just like shooting with it and it's impossible we're not even gonna bother chasing it we're not even gonna bother because you know what it is gone it wasn't a good shot it wasn't a vital we are gonna go for that one though if we can get it in again guys that's why i absolutely dislike 303 and again, your, your mileage may vary. You might like shooting with this gun. I personally, I don't. But again, as I said, you win some, you lose some. One way to get to the bow and actually start some decent hunting. Then the real fun begins. we can get that female in. If we can't get it, we can't get it. You know what? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna bore you guys if we can't get it. I will do some hunts off screen until we get to the bow and then I will be back with part 3 with some bow hunting. I think that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing some offline hunting. Yeah, and that's why I said pigs are much easier to hunt than deer. Quite honest with you guys. Come on, you smell. Right, it's going that way. All right, that's fine. You know what? Let us head to our lodge. Show you the trophy that we got. And we will take it from there. And then we will be back with part three once I've rounded up enough money in order to actually get the bow. Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, so if you room, there is our gold pig. You can see it's got a nice little trophy to it. It was a G74, 221 kilogram wild boar male, which we taken out with the 303. For now guys, I would appreciate if you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, and we will be back with part 3, I will be doing some offline hunting for the bow, and we will catch you in the next one. Now, cheers!